Hello, my name is Mike Rutt. I'm with the UNL ITS security team, and today I'll be talking about security tips for small business. The first tip um, we're gonna talk about is to train employees in security principles. Establish basic security practices and policies for employees, such as requiring strong passwords and establishing appropriate internet use guidelines that detail penalties for violating company cybersecurity policies. Establish rules behavior describing how to handle and protect your customer information and other vital detail. Security policies are very important um, to establish with your employees as soon as they start. Um, they uh, set the guidelines for how they should use um, your computer resources and networks. Number two, protect information, computers, and networks from cyber attacks. Keep clear, clean machines having the latest security software, web browsers, and operating systems are the best defense against viruses, malware, and other online threats. Set antivirus software to run a scan after each update, and other key software updates as soon as they are available. Um, the, what hackers do generally is they will um, reverse engineer um, patches uh, to see how they can exploit your systems. If your systems aren't patched correctly, um, they become vulnerable to attack. All right, number three, provide fire firewall security for internet connection. A firewall is a set of related programs that prevent outsiders from accessing data on private networks. Make sure the operating system's firewall is enabled or install free firewall software available online. If employees work from home, ensure that their home systems are protected by a firewall. Firewalls are important at every level because um, it reduces the attack surface of your systems. So um, no matter how big your network is, um, start with the operating systems, make sure that those firewalls are enabled um, on any network devising equipment. Limiting the attack surface is very important to providing good protection for your computing environment. Number four, create a mobile device action plan. Mobile devices can create significant security and management challenges, especially if they hold confidential information or can access the corporate network. Require users to password protect their devices, encrypt their data, and install security apps to prevent criminals from stealing information while the phone is on public networks. Be sure to set reporting procedures for lost or stolen equipment. Sometimes mobile devices get lost in the mix when we think about um, security for small businesses. Um, it's important to have a plan in place for a lost um, or stolen uh, mobile device. A lot of times these devices can have just uh, sensitive data on them that you would have on your normal network. Um, so it's important that you be able to remotely wipe these devices in the case that they're lost or stolen. Number five. Make backup copies for, of important business data and information. Regularly back up the data on all computers. Critical data includes word processing documents, electronic spreadsheets, databases, financial files, human resource files, and accounts receivable payable, fi payable files. Backup data automatically if possible, or at least weekly, and store copies either off-site or in the cloud. Um, Backups are important even um, from a security standpoint, but also just for good business practice. Losing your data could severely cripple your small business. I highly recommend uh, you back up all data that you have in your environment. All right. Control physical access to your computers and create accounts for each employee. Prevent access or use of business computers by unauthorized individuals. Laptops can be particularly easy targets for theft, can be lost, so lock them up when unattended. Make sure separate user accounts is created for each employee and require strong passwords and administrative privileges um, should only be given to trusted IT staff and key personnel. Um, one of the biggest concerns is physical access. If someone has physical access to your computer systems, they can easily compromise uh, a computer. 
Um, one of the things you need to think about is if you're at a rem remote site, like at a conference or a seminar, um, make sure if, if you're in a seminar room and you have to leave uh, for a break, make sure you take those laptops with you. Those laptops become easy targets when people just see them laying around at a conference, so make sure you secure them even when you're away. Seven, secure your Wi-Fi networks. If you have a Wi-Fi network for your workplace, make sure it is secure, encrypted, and hidden. To hide your Wi-Fi network, set up your wireless access point or router so it does not broadcast the network name known as the Service Set Identifier, or SSID. Password protect access to the router. It's important that we password protect the router on um, secure networks for your business. Um, one th a couple things you could, should consider here um, besides what was outlined is um, set up Mac filtering so you can limit the access to your Wi-Fi router by device. Um, another thing to consider is in the management interface, set it up for HTTPS um, so that when you remotely connect to your router to manage it, um, it's encrypted and no one can see that traffic. Number eight, employ best practices on payment cards. Work with banks or processors to ensure the most trusted, validated tools and anti-fraud services are being used. You may also have additional security obligations pursuant to agreements with your bank or processor. Isolate payments systems from other less secure programs and don't use the same computer to process payments or surf the internet. It's very important to limit, uh, to keep those systems separated. Uh, if you're browsing the web, you go to a malicious site, uh, your machine gets infected, you don't want it to have uh, payment card information on it. Number nine, limit employee access to data and information. Limit the authority to install software. Do not provide any one employee with access to all data systems. Employees should only be given access to the specific data systems that they need for their jobs and should not be able to install any software without permission. It's important to follow this um, guideline. Um, installing software also comes with a lot of malware, and so um, preventing them from doing so could save you a lot of headaches in the future. 10, password and authentication. Requiring employees to use unique passwords and change passwords every three months, consider implementing multi-factor authentication that requires additional information beyond a password to gain entry. Check with your vendors that handle sensitive data, especially financial institutions, to see if they offer multi-factor authentication for your account. Multi-factor authentication is very important because it allows you to protect your really sensitive data. Um, even, if, even if someone would get the username and password for the user, Multi-factor authentication would prevent them from accessing the system because it's an extra layer of authentication that a hacker would have to use. Uh, most of the information that was presented, or the tips that were presented here today, um, came from the FCC's Cybersecurity Hub. Um, I would definitely recommend going to this URL and using the tools they have there uh, to help you plan security for your small business. UNLITS resources. Um, we have a number of great resources to look at. Um, pay particular attention to the, the last URL link here. Um, this will um, give you some ideas on how to set up data classification in, in your um, policies for your business. Um, data classification is a great way to start uh, a whole security program and add protections around the data you have. Um, of course, um, the UNLITS security team, we're all available to answer questions. Feel free to email any one of us here. Um, we would be glad to answer any questions you might have. Thank you.